Okay, let's do a few warm ups and get things ready to do some low back work. Feet hip width apart, pick up those toes and then spread them out. No gripping with the toes. Sitting bones toward the floor. Keep those ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Shoulders back and down and crown to the ceiling. Take a moment to breathe. Let your belly open as you fill your lungs and let it sink back in as you ex exhale all those toxins. And then on an inhalation, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down. Stretch up through the head. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands just gently at the fingertips behind you. Press the fingers to the floor and lift your heart, get a nice back bend started, and then pivot at your hips, exhale, round forward, and bring your hands toward your hip. Start moving those shoulders a little bit, chin circles so the neck gets a little release. And then bending your knees, drop the sitting bones, and start at the bottom of your spine, winding your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your head away. Keep those toes spreading apart. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment, feeling that stimulation through your spine. And again, arms reaching out. Hands to your heart. Stretch to the front. And clasp the hands the opposite way, so shift the fingers one position over. Again, lift into the back, bend, stretching, and then exhale a little bit. And deepen as far as you'd like today. Bring your hands further up if that shoulder area needs a little work. And again, chin in, knees slightly bent as you wind your way back into the upper body back bend. Shoulders down, head back. And chest high. Stretch it out, keep breathing. And then inhale upright, releasing your arms. Just take a moment, stretch the spine apart, and let's just gently turn side to side, getting that spine working a little bit more through the whole length of your body. And then coming back to the front, we'll do the side stretches, arms out. Palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them, clasp the hands, and bring your arms next to your ears. Everything facing front and lean to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get those ribs stretching apart a little bit more. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. Inhale to the center. Switch the hands. Keep the shoulders down. Arms by your ears. And again, stretch everything long as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from now down. Again, get those ribs stretching. Take a moment and breathe. And again, inhale upright. Exhale, releasing all the way to your sides. Shoulders again, circling back and down. And then arms out, arms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Lift up on one side, coming up on the opposite toe, lifting that heel. So this side stays flat as you stretch again through the ribs. Exhale that side down. Inhale the other one. Keep lengthening, breathing. Just stretch it out. And exhale down. Inhale both arms up. Stretch high. Shoulders down. Pivot forward at your hips. Stretch it out. Take a breath and drop into right dog. Pull in a little deeper, get that back in a nice stretch on it. And hands back to the center. And another round up from the lower spine all the way to the top. Shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. Bring your arms out, thumbs to the inside of your palms, just a gentle fist, one up and one down. And turn the other way. So turn those fists one up and one down, just pushing out through the fist, up through the crown. Keep those toes spreading out. And then bring your arms, up, lower arms into it all the way up to the elbows, turning. And then all the way up to the shoulders. And then really get the shoulders working with it. 
push the shoulder away forward as you turn the fist down, and then the opposite way. Feel that massage all the way across that upper back shoulder area. And then release the shoulders and the arms, just the fists. Keep stretching it out. And then stretch those fingers, stretching them all the way out as well. And then shake it out as you bring your arms back down into mountain pose. A little more stimulation through that whole shoulder, upper body area. And then let's stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Bring your arms back by your ears and stretch. Exhale, turn to the side. Breath in, and in the twist, come on all the way over. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Arms next to your ears still. And bring your body, upper body toward your leg. And then stay in your twist as you inhale your weight all the way up and come into that upper body only for your back. And remember, gentle on your low back when it's twisted. Elbows back, chest high, and don't forget to breathe. Keep stretching that base of the skull area. Don't clench your neck bones. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around, get things balanced. And again, stretch the spine apart and turn to the other side. A breath in and exhale over. And just take a moment there, breathing, just relaxing. Sitting by the shoulder, just relaxing that twist forward there. And then again, inhaling, work your way up in the twist into that upper body back there. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Stretch out. Remember, don't lift the chin too high. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up into extended down. And then bring your hands out to shoulder level. To one side, keeping the hips over your ankles, back to the center, over to the other side. And back to the center. Bring your hands onto your lower back and fingertips down towards your hips. Elbows in, support that lower back and just lift your heart and stretch your head back in a nice back bend with that lower back support. Take a breath. Don't lift your chin too high, stretch out through the back of your neck. And then chin towards your chest and come on upright and release. Again, arms out at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, and stretch it out halfway down. Drop into ragdoll, just hang. Hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, spine, straight. Spread your toes out, no breaking. Then drop down again, drag. Bend your chin, bend your knees slightly, and again, find your way back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, round at the ceiling, getting ready for a little balance practice. Favorite okay, balance foot, lift those toes, get the ball of the foot, base of the toe area connected, but not the toes, don't work. Lift the arch, whole bottom of your foot connected, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up for active, remember, get that support with the ribs toward your spine and up. Shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling, and rolling your elbow. So remember, roll it at the top of the thigh so it's not crossing over. And when you get it as high as you want, circle your ankle. It can be low if you're challenged today, or as high as the end of your chest. Feel that ankle getting a little work, and then straighten it out with a flexing point as you put things back down and shift your balance to that other side. So again, everything lined up, core active, shoulders relaxed, round to the ceiling, spread those toes, no gripping, and bring the other leg up. Again, just a little or as high as you'd like, and work your ankle when you're standing. Take a breath, just relax, and everything just releasing in that ankle. And again, stretch and 
point as we bring it back to you. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment, feel that low back a little bit more activated. And let's do one more little glute exercise here. Another balance. So again, bend your knees this time. We're going to find your favorite balance foot and bring the other foot up, ankle over the top of the knee. And then just steps back and then into a little bit of a squat. Spread those toes, don't breath, find it. Sit as deeply into that. Keep the spine though straight and stretching as you push those sitting bones deep in the knee. Keep breathing. And then inhale up and release that way. Take a moment feeling that security of both feet. And of course, we need to balance and balance on the other side. So again, line things up, activate the core, relax the shoulders, ground reaching up, bend the knees. And again, just a little gentle squat as you bring the ankle onto the knee. Knee out to the side. And just set those sitting bones further back as you come into a little bit more squat. Take a breath. Just see, spread the toes. Straighten it out as you come back up. And exhale your balance stress. Chin into that little notch at the base of your throat. Everything nice and straight in the rest of your body. And bring one hand and then the other to the back of your head. No pressure. Just a little extra weight to give it a nice stretch on the back of your neck. Remember, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles still are lined up. It's just your neck stretching. Take a breath. Don't push. Just give it a little release, relaxing into that back of the neck stretch. And then releasing the hands, tip the chin up. And go a little further, but keep that back of the neck stretching as well so you don't crunch the bones in that base of the skull. Move right? your jaw around, push it forward, pull it back, and keep your head back up. Sides of the neck next, tip one ear over. Both shoulders stay down, remember, and you're just getting a little stretch on that opposite shoulder and neck area. Everything else stays aligned and balanced. That core is still supporting your spine. Hand coming up on the side of your head, just a little weight, no pressure, just getting it a little extra. Push the fingertips down on that other hand if you want a little more, or pull them down if you want even a little bit more. But just feel that whole neck area and upper shoulder getting a little bit more stretched out. Exhale and relax it. And release the hands and tip your head up and notice the difference. Yeah, so we need to balance going the other way. Shoulders stay down, core still active, everything aligned, and tip the ear over. And again, just breathe and relax as you get there. All the tension out. Bring your hand up, but remember no pressure, just a little weight giving it a little extra stretch. Stay there or fingertips down or palm down, whichever gives you the right amount of stretch for your neck area. Take a breath, just relaxing, everything releasing trouble. And then the arms release and the head turns back upright and just feel that whole area a little more stretched. So remember, we want the base of the skull and base of the spine stretching apart, but we're keeping the shoulders and hips facing the front and just turning your chin toward one side for the neck twist. So this is back and out of the driveway practice. Keep the crown going up and then just turn the neck. Exhale back to the center, keep it stretching out. Exhale to the other side. And again, as deeply only as your body wants to go, just relax into it, let it happen, don't force it. And again, exhale back to the center. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow them toward the ceiling. 
another back bend because we love back bends. Chest high, stretch it out. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, dropping into them. Hands up under your knees on your shins and stretch elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bending your knees, come to the floor, child pose, transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and four feet down. Take a breath, just relax. Everything's stretching up. And then inhale and sit up on your heels and bring again your hands to your lower back, elbows toward each other, and give a little support to that lower back area. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and breathe, chest high. And then chin toward your chest, release your arms. And we're going to come all the way up onto our knees, a little baby camel, so you can Bend your mat under you, an extra fold, and get a little cushioning under your knees for this one. Toes either straight back or slightly toward each other for a little more stability. And again, support that low back with that heel of the palm on that lower shoulder blade area, lower rib area, and then fingertips down toward your hips. Elbows toward each other, hips over your knees, and left your foot. Press your head slightly back. So support a baby camel. Take a breath. Just let your body go as much into that lower back, back bend as you like. And then chin toward your chest. Exhale and sink your hips back. Release that neck and come back into the child's pose. Take a breath. Exhale and finish. And then hand back to the sides of the mat in front of you. Give it up, push those feet back, drop your hips, feel that low back, get a little rotation, and roll all the way to resting crocodile on your belly. Head to one side, hands palms up at your hips, shoulders down. Take a breath, exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. Stretch your neck from both sides. And then bringing your forehead to the floor, Turn your palms under and rest your thighs on the backs of your hands. Slide your chin forward. We'll do a little locus. So stretch those legs back. Feet hip width apart. And then push both hip bones down into your arms or the mat and lift the right leg, stretching out through the base of your chest. Push the sitting or the hip bones down. And just raise that foot only as high as it wants to go. So a little low back work here, strengthening it. Stretch it out, lift it maybe a little higher. And then stretching that still, exhale, bring that leg back in. Bring your forehead to the floor, get a little stretch on the back of your neck. And of course, we're going to balance and do the opposite leg. So once again, Chin forward, hands, palms down, hip bones down, stretch out through the toes. Feet hip of the part, left foot coming up, keep stretching it out, push those hip bones down, shoulders toward the floor, and just raise that foot as high as it likes. Feel that low back doing a little work for you. Keep breathing, stretch it out. Maybe a little higher if you love it. And again, stretching it out, exhale, foot down. And again, forehead to the back. Take a moment and breathe, and release those shoulders. And you can either bring the hands under you again, or clasp your hands into a slight fist under you, and push the hip bones down, coat your big bones down into your arms and hands. Chin forward again. If that's too much. Remember, you can always turn your forehead to the mat if you prefer. And press the shoulders down, chin forward, push those hip bones down, and feet hip width apart, or raise both feet stretching out through the base of the toes as you can. Lift those feet as high as they want to go. Do a little bit more, only if you need it. Lifting up. Keep those hip bones pressing down. Feel that low back doing the work. Take a breath. 
exhale any stress. And another breath in, maybe a little higher. And then exhaling, slowly bring those feet back over again. When they reach the floor, release your hands. Bring your hands under your shoulders and press back into a nice forward bend, child pose. Getting that stretch where we were contracting in your lower back area. Take a breath. Yes. Bring your knees together for even more stretch in that lower back area if you want to. And again, breathe and relax with an exhalation. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, bring your legs to the end of the mat. So staff position, sitting on slightly behind you, core active, supporting your spine as always. Hips and shoulders lined up, crown to the ceiling. Press that through the bottoms of your feet, pulling the toes slightly back towards you so those backs of the legs get a nice stretch. Keep that core working as you lower your body slowly to the floor. And as you get all the way down, just take a moment to breathe, relax, incline integration. Shoulders down, each hip width apart, bring the toes slightly toward each other, and then release, keep those feet hip width apart. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels as you bend your knees, press the back down, and heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So remember, you may need to roll in a little at the top of the thigh and make sure those knees don't spread away. Press your back down, sitting bones toward your heels, whole spine connected, feel that core working, and then strengthening the lower back a little bit. Pull those sitting bones back, arch up from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones with that space under your back as much as you want. And then again, exhale and pulling it down, sitting bones toward your heels. Inhaling, and lifting the ribs, getting that arch in your whole back of your body. And just a few times doing that, of course, do more on your own to strengthen the back and tone those abs as you're working this. This is a really good therapeutic work for that low back area. And then come back to a neutral position. Feet hip width apart, right heels next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. And we'll do another little figure four. So bring your right leg up, cross the ankle with that ankle just above your knee. Take your right hand to the right knee. Just press it gently away from you. You can stay there if that's a good stretch for your glutes and back. Otherwise, lift the foot, left foot off the floor and bring the hand either to your shin or the back of your foot. Pull in with the left hand and push away just gently with the right so that we get those hips working a little bit more in this position. Shoulders to be down toward the floor, <clears throat> not stressing or straining. So you're not putting a lot of pressure on the legs. You can do just the legs by themselves without the hands on them if you prefer. And again, just breathe. Exhale the stress and tension. Let those hips just release and relax. And then bring the left foot down. Lift the right leg, straighten it out. And bring your heel back down next to your feet, other sitting down. Take a moment, pressing back down, and just feel your body. And exhale, pull in the neutral position there. And bring your left leg up. Ankle across on top of the right knee. And left hand to the left hand. Right hand either around the right shin or thigh as you lift that right foot off the floor if you want to go a little deeper. And again, hand pressing out on that left leg, pulling in on the right as you work those hips and glutes a little bit more in this position, as much or as little as you need to do. Take a breath, just exhale, do what's right. And when you're ready to release, bring the right foot down, release your hands, lift the left leg, straighten it out, and put it back down. Take a moment and breathe. Both feet still hip width apart, knees straight up. 
press the back down, hands next to you, palms down, next to your hips, and then lift your hips into a little bridge. Come up onto your shoulders, not your neck, back of the head still on the floor, knees still hip width apart, feet still hip width apart. Press evenly into the feet, lift those hip bones straight up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the hip bones, the, the sitting bones halfway down, and then push the hip bones back up. And once more, sitting bones halfway down, and then hip bones back up. Remember, don't move your knees or your feet at any time. Lift those hip bones, maybe a little bit more nice storage, and then release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades, your ribs, and your spine. Take a moment and exhale, bring those knees up, and reach forward the shifts. And then knees hip with the part, feet back on the floor, arms to two position. Palms down or up, your choice. We're just going to do a little twist. Press your back down, both feet up. You can cross your leg over if you want a little bit more low back work or leave them next to each other. And then roll over to the left side with that right knee coming down toward the floor. Turn your head toward that right arm and keep the shoulders down. So the knee going down goes into that low back twist. Head turning goes into that neck area twist, and the shoulders are open back into the back twist. Next one is. So, do what's right for your body in the twist, always and always. And then heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, and cross your legs if you cross them, and cross the other way. And again, exhale and bring that knee over, and turn your head the opposite direction. Again, going only as deeply into it as your body wants. If your knees are crossed, that lower back area will get more of a twist. Be gentle if you need to. Turn your head for your neck area twist as much or little as your body needs. And keep those shoulders down. Just let that maximize or minimize as much as your body just naturally needs. Don't force it. Take a breath. And again, when you're ready, heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back, come across, feet to the floor, stretch it out, and come into corpse position for our final relaxation. Toes toward each other, and then just relax that whole lower back, lower body area. Remember, lots of work there, just so you let it release any tightness. Shoulders releasing down, hands, palms up away from your sides, letting that whole upper body relax as well. Head turning side to side, just let that neck release. So go your chin a little bit and on the perfect spot and relax. Deepen your breath. Exhale, just let your body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you a little bit deeper. Let everything go. And as your body relaxes, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts drift away, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them drift away as well. Focusing only on the breath, only on that sense of peace deep within, breathing into it, exhaling tension, letting everything go. And keep relaxing if you have even more time and opportunity. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, you can join energy awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. And when you're ready, 
And your sitting bones toward your heels, that pressing gently down, heels in toward your hips, and knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga for you. Let your body know you appreciate it. Some yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release all of that, just head and feet to the floor or rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.